I'm going to show you how to replace the upstream O2 sensor on this Ram 1500. This vehicle has the 3.6 liter V6 engine. If you need parts for your vehicle, you can get those at 1AAuto.com. Let's get into it. Remove the wheel, use a 22 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. the wheel. Take these screws out. I'm going to use an eight millimeter socket. There's a couple screws back here. Use the same eight millimeter socket. We get some push pins, just use some trim tools. Just pop these out. Sometimes they break. Sometimes it helps to use two trim tools. Oh, that just broke, that's okay. There's another one right here. Underneath, we can see where there's some retainers. Just want to pop those out. And those are just holding a shield on. Slide the inner fender well out. And disconnect the connector for the O2 sensor. Just push down on this tab. If you need to, you can use a straight blade screwdriver on the other side and just push the tab down. And it slides off. This right here, that's what I'm pushing down with the screwdriver. Just push that down. Then you can disconnect that. Slide the wire out of the retainer right there. Now I'm going to use an O2 sensor socket. This is a 7 8 socket that has a slice in it. You could use a 7 8 wrench or a 22 millimeter wrench. Loosen this up. Once you get it pretty loose, you should be able to do it by hand. And slide that out. Take the upstream O2 sensor. Get that lined up. And start it by hand. And we'll torque this to 32 foot pounds. That's good. Now connect the connector. Line that up. Lock it down. And slide the retainer. And the procedure is gonna be the same for the other side. Take the inner fender liner, line that up. Get the, get the bolts started.
these two on the side, there's this little trim panel. I'll put that up. Get that to line up. And the wiring harness retainer. You want to slide that in place right here. there and the push pins get those lined up push those in place and anywhere else you had a push pin now I'll tighten all the screws down Install the wheel. Put the lug nuts on. Snug those down. Now we're going to torque the lug nuts to 130 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just go around again, double check. Well, I hope this video helped you out. And if you need parts for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1AAuto.com and you can watch all those repair videos to help you with your installs. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.